We felt them. A lot of small quakes have rattled the region since last week's magnitude 4.5 shaker in El Monte. Well, what could this mean for our future? KKL 9's Alex Biston talked to a renowned seismologist about what's going on here. A bit of anxiety, you know, always around when is the next one happening? Rachel Ahn says she's still rattled after a series of earthquakes struck Southern California over the past week. We've been in California maybe 10, 10, 12 years and haven't felt any like the ones we've felt in the last couple. Late Friday, a magnitude 4.5 quake centered near El Monte shook many out of bed. Since then, several smaller earthquakes have hit this week, including a magnitude 3.2 near Rancho Cucamonga and a 3.3 near Lake Elsinore. Now, the earthquakes are inevitable, but the disaster is not. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones says this is normal for Southern California, and the area averages about 10 magnitude 4 or greater earthquakes every year, with a handful of magnitude 3s happening every week. When you put it actually in Los Angeles are, you know, in the base, and this was in San Gabriel Valley, many more people feel it. Dr. Jones says a cluster of smaller earthquakes does not necessarily mean we are free from a big one. So you can never get enough big, small ones to replace the big one. In fact, what it is, is since that ratio is constant, when you have enough small ones, you need a big one to keep the ratio constant. And places that have lots of small ones have lots of big ones. And whenever there's an earthquake in California that gets people's attention, um, our website traffic increases. Glenn Pomeroy is the CEO of the California Earthquake Authority, a nonprofit earthquake insurance company. He says these tremors are always a good reminder for people to have an earthquake plan. Most people don't have earthquake insurance. Well, um, they ought to know that it's not covered in their homeowner's policy and that federal assistance is going to be very limited and, and they ought to give us some thought. At a time when fear is common, Dr. Jones provides an important reminder that we live in earthquake country and the best way to combat fear is to be prepared. Remember that the earthquakes are part of Southern California and they don't have to be a disaster. You can prevent most of the damage. But the best way to manage it is to, to educate yourself. The state's largest earthquake preparedness drill, the Great California Shakeout, will be happening next month on October 15th. And normally schools and offices participate, but because of COVID, many will be participating from home. I'm Alex Biston for KCAL 9 News.